Sure card has lots of these checkout components that you can easily add to your checkout forms with a drag and drop interface. There's no code to it. And that includes custom fields. So I'm going to show you how to add as many custom fields exactly how you want it to your checkout forms right now. So first let's go into one of our checkout forms. So I'll click on forms and here's one that I created for another video called website package. When I click into it, you can see the only forms we fields we have actually are name and email, but let's go ahead and add some more. Let me click right here on name and then I'm going to click on this plus to scroll down to all of the different options we have inside of Surecart. So this is specifically, this video is gonna be about adding custom fields, but there's some other goodies there as well. So let's scroll down and you're gonna see this option right here that says text field. So when I click on it, you can see it added it to the canvas. So let's add a second custom field. Now there's also something else that I really like. It's called a radio select box. And so let's go ahead and add one of those as well. Okay, now I am going to rearrange these. So this is my radio box. Let's go ahead and move that to the top and let's fill this out. So when I click on it, there's always gonna be options for all of these components in the right. So here is the label name. So let me go ahead and change it. All right, so I've entered in what best describes you. And I wanna make this required. I want my buyer to have to choose one of these options. So you can see right here, we have one option listed. So what we could do is just click on it and start filling it out, but we can also fill it out over here, but I'm gonna click on a plus and see it added a second radio option. And when I click on it, there's a third radio option. So let's go ahead with three. Now, if I wanted one of these chosen by default, I can click on it and choose this option here that says checked by default. So I'm gonna click into one and let's customize one of these together and then I will do the other two on my own. I'll go over here to the right and I'll put something in there for the label. And I entered website creator. Now for the value, this is what's gonna be stored with the order when someone checks this as their option. So it says checked. So if someone was to select this option, in the order inside of the data, it would show website creator and then it will say checked. So for me, I don't wanna use the word checked. I'm gonna say the word yes. Perfect, now I just need to add the text label right here. So I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna enter website creator. Great, we have the first one done. If someone checks this website creator, inside of the order data, it's gonna list website creator and it's gonna show yes, because that's the one they would have chosen. So I'll go ahead and fill out these other two. And there you have it. This is how you would create the radio selectors. And you saw the what you would put in to the option for each one. So when, so for course creator, when someone chooses this, it's gonna save as course creator, yes. And the same concept is gonna be taken in to now customize these custom fields right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into the first one right here and you can see our options. Do we want this field to be required? I sure do. And then right here is the same concept of the name, the label that would show right here and if you wanted some placeholder text. In this it's different, the actual value, the person that fills out the form is gonna submit unlike the radio options. Uh, so it's just a little bit different there. So I'm gonna go ahead and feel this out. So this is what I put in for the label. I wrote, what is your favorite color? Actually, I should add a question mark there because it's a question. And then for the name, I put favorite color because that's all I want to show inside of the order record, favorite color. And then it will show what the person filling this out entered. Let's go ahead and do it again for this field right here. Now for this custom field, I did it a little bit differently. I asked the question, what year did you graduate? Uh, ooh, there we go. I think I, I put a, a misspelling there. Nope, that's right. What year did you graduate from college? And then I added a placeholder text. So the person filling it out would know the format of what we're looking for. It's just a simple year like that. And uh, this is for the name I put graduated. So this will show in the order graduated and then it will show the year date. 
And that's all there is. You can add as many custom fields as you want to your checkout forms. And you can also add these radio boxes when you want to control what the answer will be. So I guess the best thing to do now would be to uh, test it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to update this. Let's go to the form on the front end of the site. I have a page for it. It is right here, website packages. Let's go ahead and view it. You can see it looks beautiful already. And oops, I didn't make this required, uh, but you saw it's just a simple toggle. And my checkout form is in test mode. So I'll go ahead and fill this all out right now. So let's view it. I went and popped my name in there and you can see I chose something here. My favorite color, I chose black and I entered 2010. Actually, I should have put something different in here because that was the placeholder just to show you. And I put in the Stripe test, test uh, credit card right there. This is fine. I'll click on purchase and my order is going to go through. All right, and here is the order summary. So now let's see what that order actually looks like in the order management area. What I'll do is I'll click right here where it says orders and you are going to see the order right here. So I'll click into that order and you can see right here where it says the metadata and this is the information that I was collecting. So graduated, here's the year, here's the favorite color that was filled out. And then right here, website creator. Yes, actually I would have done this differently. I would have said best describes you or whatever, and then the answer would have been website creator, but you can set these up however you want. If I had to do it over again, that's probably what I would have ended up doing. There you see the power of Surecart. There's no code required. You can ask someone whatever you want to ask them, and you can make it required when someone's filling out one of these forms to collect whatever data that you want to collect. And the best part is you got to do all of it visually. Um, it doesn't get any easier than that. So you saw the radio box in action and you saw the custom field in action. Uh, can't wait to see what you do with this. And you can add these to any of your checkout forms. So that's how you use these custom fields inside of checkout forms that you build with Surecart.